Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to model uh, topography lines for a uh, site. I get these questions uh, several times from my dear students and if you remember in a couple of uh, videos ago uh, I posted that in uh, making it on rapid conceptual mass in step 4 and in it I just you know show you how to make four point uh, you know like um, uh, yeah, almost a unique or a, a uniform gradient or slope tra uh, site uh, in, in this video I'm gonna depend on you know the same technique but just to create those contour lines uh, to make those, this topography for um, uh, let's say 25 meter by 35 uh, site and uh, in it I just gonna depend on this picture and already designed that as a model line 25 meter by 35 meter so what I'm gonna do is just to insert the JPG and I already prepared it and I'm gonna place it wherever and probably we need to zoom that actually to scale that down you need to use the arrows on your keyboard to zoom that or to make that you know as precise as you can go you will never ever get it a hundred percent but I think that's can you know be enough now in our case here this the, the picture is actually bigger than the site itself and it could be you know small anyway but uh, in both cases you're gonna use the scale command uh, click for the start and hold the end of the picture let's say from here and then move your hand toward the end of the side and that will you know create um, you know a scale down or up for the the image in order to be a hundred percent almost a hundred percent to be honest uh, matching on the side now that's been done now let's do those uh, you know topography lines uh, it's easy just go massing and same technique we, we use in the previous video that I show you and instead of making the, you know, the four points, I'm going to follow as much as I can out of those lines. And in the beginning, I'm going to give it the height or the elevation, uh, 7,000 millimeter. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to just follow the lines as much as you can. Now again, let's change this to 6,000 and hit enter, starting again. Now, if you don't see this and you really, really need to that to be done exactly, just go to wireframe mode, you know, it helps you to get better results. Okay, now let's go 5,000 some and enter some issues like this will go and disappear when you know draw the line beneath it so don't you know don't freak out when it doesn't really look like or some lines look like they are overlapping it's okay like now you see that you see this making crazy things okay it's okay just go ahead I'm just going 1000 by 1000 and now uh, I don't know what I clicked yet One thousand. You see this distortion that you see. Again, it's gonna go when you draw the line, the lower one, as you can see in here. And the final thing is just zero, close at close to the street level. So that's it. Just right click, cancel, and hit you know finish. And if you see that in 3D, you're going to see that your topography already done uh, for you. And that's what we technically want. So, you know, now you have those contour lines that you have from a picture, probably from the side, 
uh, from the PDF, I mean, and, or a, a JPEG that you get from the internet and you want to make exactly. Because, because the, the example that I gave to the students is just based on, you know, having pictures and try to model the exact villas out of that. So lots of questions pop up just like how we do those lines. And that's the way, that's the best way, guys, to do it. Uh, just to document it, uh, I'm going to go back to site again. You can go, I'm going to turn off the picture, selecting it, and then E H element hide and then I'm gonna go label and chain that and whatever you want to create the chain just you know go move your hand and you know click whatever you intersect with the contour lines I'm just moving my hand vertically to get you know a text to represent you know the actual levels in here probably you won't see that uh, clearly in your screen because it's set by default to 1 to 100 it's really a small, so probably getting back to it a bigger scale, like one to five hundred. You're gonna get it a bit a better picture uh, of it. Uh, uh, you know, see it clearly actually. And the rest of the commands explained uh, in, in massing inside, like splitting and building pad, and the subregion. I already explained as far as I remember. Again, get back to this one. You know, to this video, uh, you get more actually about those uh, commands. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.